Hi ladies, good morning. I'm just sitting here getting ready for work this morning and I've gotten a couple of questions on the post that I did last night so I thought I'd give you a little bit more information. So what I have been doing is going through Instagram and I'm looking for um, beautiful women who are taking selfies, um, you know, appear to really like makeup, of uh, you know, that type of a thing. Or there were a couple women who actually weren't wearing any makeup at all. Um, at least it didn't look like it. Um, but their selfies were just so gorgeous, I had to do it. So, um, and typically I've been finding them in my newsfeed. So people that are already liking my pictures or even commenting on my pictures. So I know that they at least know who I am. And I send, I, I scroll through their pictures and as I'm scrolling through their pictures, I'll like a bunch of the pictures that I see that relate to me. And then I will find a picture that is absolutely stunning of them. And um, I take a copy of it and then I go in to uh, direct message them and I use that picture of them. And I comment to them something to the effect of, I was scrolling through IG and um, I, I was, you're, you know, you're absolutely stunning. I was stuck on your pictures. Um, I think that you would absolutely rock at this business. I sell fancy mascara. If I gave you an eight minute call, would you listen to it? Question mark. And this is incorporating a couple of, um, tactics kind of, I guess you would say that Eric Worre, uh, I've learned through Eric Worre and that is the, if I would you. So if I give you a call to listen to, would you listen to it? And um, the response I'm getting uh, from, from most people are either no, actually the most is no response at all. I sent, I think 17 and the majority of them haven't responded, um, at least yet they haven't. But I did wake up this morning overnight to two more. Um, another one said, thank you so much for the compliment. Um, I'm just really busy with my life. I don't think that that would fit in, that type of a thing. Um, and then I had somebody else that said, oh yes, that sounds amazing. I'm in cosmetology school. I'm actually sitting in a class right now. Please send me the link. So that's a positive. And um, every person that says, no, thank you, it's not right for me right now, um, if they kind of say, I just don't have time, I throw out there, we're completely social media based, but I understand if you don't have time for this right now. Um, but I always ask for the referral. If you know any like-minded women that are looking for a sisterhood, might need some extra income, something to that effect, please, I love referrals, please keep me in mind. And everybody has been so gracious and said, I absolutely will, thank you so much. Um, starting off with the compliment is huge. I think that that is really grasping these ladies. So with that said, please, please, please do not use the same wording that I used. If for some odd reason we happen to contact the same woman, um, I would really hate for them to feel that that original compliment was um, not true because th it is true. I'm not saying it to them because it's not, but if they get the same message from you too, they're gonna, it's gonna be cheaper, you know, it's gonna feel cheapened. Um, so try to please reward it because I would hate to, to hurt that woman's feelings. Um, so if, okay, so now they say yes. Um, I have a phone call, it's on SoundCloud, I think is what it is, and I could post it for you ladies. And it was done by Amber Voigt. And she is, um, you know, a top seller with Unique. Um, she's absolutely fabulous. She's actually um, speaks at marketing events all over, not related to Unique. She, you know, she's for MLMs. Um, she's with Eric Worre, she's done videos for him. Uh, she's in magazines. She's getting her own radio show. Uh, so she is an amazing woman. Um, and she did the six minute uh, SoundCloud. Uh, so you can just like call into it. It's actually like a link you press, but you can listen to it on your phone. You can listen on the computer, whatever. And it's just six minutes about kind of her story with Unique. And that's really what grabs people is when you tell, show them the big picture, you, you know, you share a story and you may not have a story yet because you're not making thousands and thousands of dollars a month. Um, you know, so we're going to borrow that story from someone else who is making that because that is possible and it will happen. Um, and then when they say that they're going to listen, they say, yes, please send it to me. And I ask them for their cell phone number so that I could text it to them. Now I have their cell phone number. 
in case we want more follow-up. Um, there was one woman who seemed a little ooky about it, so I said, just go ahead and give me your email address and I'll, I'll email the link to you, and she was happy with that. So before I actually email it um, or text it, I say, okay, when will you be able to listen to this? And when they say, um, tonight when I get home from work, I say, great, I'm gonna contact you tomorrow morning and uh, um, after you've listened to it. And they say, okay. And then I send it to them, I send it off to them. Now what I'll do tomorrow morning is I will contact them in whatever manner I have and I will say, um, so did you get a chance to listen to it? What did you like best about it? You always wanna ask them what they liked best about um, the opportunity and not what did they think? Because if you say, what did you think? They might say, oh, I don't like that it's $99 to sign up. They might have a negative and it's hard to come back from a negative. So when you say, what did you like best? Then they say, I really like that you get paid every three hours. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, you don't even understand. That came in so handy one day. You know, I bounced a check. I'm so embarrassed. I really didn't, I, I don't do things like that. It was an accident, um, but I didn't have any money, but I needed milk. The kids needed milk. They didn't have any, you know, milk for the night or the morning or whatever. Um, and so I, you know, I happened to sell a mascara that day and I used my commissions and I went and got that milk and the kids didn't even know what was going on behind the scenes. Tell a story like that because now it's your story and now it's something personal to you and now you've uh, you've connected with them. They connected with the, the company kind of the idea of it and now they want to connect with you. So then uh, I guess your next question would be um, so is this something that you want to sign up with? And then they might come back or let's see, that's probably not the best. I'm gonna have to think about that. There's probably a better, like what comes next? It's, it's hard because these conversations just kind of flow. So you kind of want to go with it, but you always want to ask those questions of um, positivity. Um, you might say, um, so with everything that you know, with everything being said, how likely are you to want to sign up with our, uh, with this opportunity? Um, that type of a thing. And they might, you know, you say on a scale from one to 10, how likely would you want to, would you be? So if it's like seven or higher, then you're like, great, let's get started. Um, or if it's like a seven, but they feel not sure, like maybe they probably really was like a five or a six, then you might say, what can I answer for you? Or what would make you bring that um, desire up to a 10 or up to a nine? that type of a thing. And they might say, um, I'm just really nervous. You know, I did this before and I don't wanna have stock on hand. I get stuck with that. And you can say, our company is not designed to have stock on hand. Many people do carry five mascaras on hand and nothing else, but that is not a requirement and you do not need to have five mascaras on you to be successful with this company. You know, you can kind of go back and forth with um, figuring out what their concern is and how to address it. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I My goal was to do um, contact 10 people um, every day on Instagram. And um, I got through 17 last night. Once I got like in a roll, I started during the day, like kind of once here or there, I was sending a message. Um, but when I got home last night, after I got the kids settled down um, and into their night routine, then I just started like blasting them out. And um, it was good. It felt comfortable. And I'm keeping a log so that I don't, re-message the same person um, and then also I'm keeping a log so that I know how many I've done and I can like write down their email write down their um, their phone number whatever they give me and um, I write a little comment about like if they said no why did they say no because um, there might be an opportunity in six months to go back to that person you know maybe their their no has changed um, I'm trying to think. Please let me know if there's any questions. Um, I will post that SoundCloud. Oh, it's six minutes, but it was done um, a, a while ago, a few months ago. Uh, I, I don't know, 10, month, 10 months ago, six months ago. I don't know how long ago. It was done a while ago. And um, she added a quick two minute update to that. So there's really two, when you log into it, it'll have overview one and overview two. I let every person know to listen to overview one first and then listen to overview two second. Um, and then together it's about eight minutes. I think the first one is six minutes and the second one is like two minutes. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I hope I didn't forget anything. I wasn't planning to do this video, so it was just completely off the top of my head. Um, love you ladies, have a great Wednesday, bye.